Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Kellogg's Pep. B E P Pep. Kellogg's Pep, the sunshine cereal, presents The Adventures of Superman. Today, as we begin an exciting new adventure, Andy Meyer's big story has led the private detective straight into a mysterious ambush. Hello there, gang. This is your pal, Dan McCullough. You know, one of the best things about the prizes in Kellogg's Pep is the swell surprise when you see which one of the three different kinds of Pep prizes you'll find at your next package. For instance, you might find one of 18 different comic buttons to pin on your jacket or your beanie cap, each picturing a favorite comic strip character in bright color. Or you might find a model of a famous allied fighting plane, one of seven exciting plane models in the series made of colored cardboard and a cinch to put together. Or you might find a beautiful full-color bird picture from a series of 24, each with a description on the reverse side so that you'll be a bird who really knows birds. Yes, you'll find one or the other of these three slick kinds of prizes in every package of Kellogg's Pet. And while you're collecting them, just think of the prize eating you can put in when you sit down to breakfast with a dish of those crisp flakes of whole wheat before you. Think of the keen, catchy flavor, that light, fresh, sunshine flavor. That terrific pep flavor you spoon up all cool and refreshing. Yes, sir, a bowl of pep with cool milk and sugar is strictly on the beam. In fact, from every angle, pep's a prize dish. So get wise to the prize in your next pep package. Ask Mom to get you Kellogg's Pep, the sunshine cereal. Now the adventures of Superman. After rescuing editor Perry White and John Grayson and crushing the attempt by Rufus Pelly to wreck the World Peace Federation, Superman returned to the Daily Planet in his guise of reporter Clark Kent. He had hardly arrived when he received a phone call from his friend Candy Myers, the private detective, who told him to come to his house in half an hour and be in on a terrific news story. But a few minutes later in the little yard behind his waterfront bungalow, Candy was ambushed by several men who leaped at him from the darkness. As we continue now, unaware of what has happened, Kent is in a taxi cab with Perry White, en route to keep his appointment with Candy. Listen. Hey, you know, it's almost midnight, Chief, and you've had a rough time. You ought to go home to bed. Nothing doing, Kent. I got one big scoop tonight, and now, according to Candy Myers, we're going to get another one. Ah, two news beats in one night. That's what happens when the old man rolls up his sleeves and goes to work. Uh-huh. Meaning yourself, I presume? Naturally. Didn't I get the Rufus Pelly story? Why, uh... Yeah, yes, I suppose you did. You suppose I did. If I didn't, who did? You? Well, I might have had a little to do with it. Are you kidding? You weren't within 40 miles of the island when Superman and I wrapped up Mr. Pelly and his rats and the story. Oh, it was you and Superman, eh? You bet it was. Well, I'll admit he did most of the work. Well, nice of you to admit that. But I was on the ball every minute. Uh -huh. Just goes to show that when the chips are down, the old man can give you young pup reporters all the breaks and still come home with the story. <laughs> yeah, wonderful, Chief. Yeah. Well, what'd you say? Nothing. 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 Yeah. I wonder what this story is that Candy Myers has got hold of. All I know is he said it would rip this town wide open. Mm, it sounds wonderful. Myers doesn't talk through his head, does he? Oh, sir, not Candy. Oh, good. Say, this driver must think we're out for the air. Uh, look, driver, we're in a hurry. Relax, bud. Bud? <laughs> we're practically dead. <laughs> Hey, do you mind using all four wheels when you turn a corner? You said you was in a hurry, didn't you? Sure, but I want to get there alive. Easy, Chief. Here we are. Thank goodness. What a driver. Well, this is it, kids. Kids? <laughs> That'll be 165. I've got it, Chief. Never mind, never mind. Keep your money. Uh, here you are, driver. Keep the change. Much obliged, Pop. Uh, no, it's Pop. <laughs> now, listen, you. Wait a don't minute. You... Come on, Chief. Come on. Don't be so sad. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Let go my sleeve. All right. Huh. Well, this is the forsaken neck of the woods. Mm. Damn, too. What does Candy live out here for? Well, he used to be a waterfront detective, and he likes the waterfront. Mm. No accounting for taste. <laughs> What's this, Ted? I see him. I see him. 
Oh, that's funny. What is? Candy isn't home. How do you know he isn't? Well, I can... Uh, well, well there, there, there are no lights. Oh, no, it's late. I had decided to take a little nap until we got here. Oh, no, he didn't. I mean, that, that, that isn't likely. Now, look, look. I was with Superman tonight. I saw him face to face, and take my word for it, you're not anything like him. So stop trying to see through the door. Ring the bell. Go on. Well, all right. But I tell you... Never mind, never mind. He said to be here in 30 minutes, didn't he? Yes. And it's about 45 minutes since he called. Oh, I know, but I... Great Scott. What? Oh, what's the matter? The backyard. Follow me, Chief. What? Candy? Here's Candy on the ground, Chief. Candy. Candy. Good God, Bray. Well, what happened to us? Either in an accident or... Oh, no, he was beaten. Terribly beaten. Well, who... Oh, never mind. Listen to his heart, Kent. Is he? All right, all right. Is he? Minute. Just a minute, please, Chief. Yes, his heart's beating. Fine. Very Fine. weakly. He... Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's this in his hand? Mm. Looks like a handkerchief. Yes, it is a handkerchief, but... But what? Are you going to waste time looking at a handkerchief at a time like this? We've got to find a doctor. No, I know. Wait a minute. The Marine Hospital isn't far from here. We'll take Candy there. Well, now, how? We haven't got a car. You go to the corner and find a cab. Okay, okay. I hope I can find one. There, he's gone. Now, out of these clothes. <clears throat> Quickest way to get poor Candy to the hospital is a Superman. There we are. All set. Now, up with him. Gently. So. Now. Up! Up! And away! <laughs> Now, listen, what's it? So loud, Chief. You're in a hospital. Well, what happened? When I got back with the cab, you and Candy were both gone. How'd you get here? I, I found some fast transportation. Now, what do you mean? I was only gone a minute. How well, what's the difference? Oh, here comes the doctor. Uh, doctor, how's Candy Myers? Uh, pretty weak, but he'll pull through. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's wonderful. Can we see him? Not until morning, Mr. Kent. The poor chap received a terrible beating. Yes, I know. That's why we want to see him as soon well, as we, we can. We want to find out if he knows who the rascals are who did it. It will have to wait until morning. Mr. Myers needs rest, and we've given him a sedative to make sure he gets it. I mm-hmm. see. Oh, come on, Kent. We'll grab a few hours sleep at the newspaper club and be back first thing in the morning. He's right in here, gentlemen. Now, remember, Mr. Myers is much better, but don't let him talk too much. We won't, Doctor. Come on, Chief. Uh, much obliged, Dr. Ross. Well, that's all right. Look at all the bandages on him, Candy. Yeah, the poor chap. Uh, how you doing, Candy? Oh, hello, Kent. Hi. Hi, Mr. White. Well, uh, how are you feeling? Oh, like I was put through a meat grinder. Not bad. How's with you? Oh, we're Who all... gave you the works, Candy? Oh, some bad boys. What bad boys? Oh, uh, their names escape me at the come moment. Come on, come on. I can see you know who they are. Well, I... I got a rough idea. Well, then tell us. We want to help you. Ah, thanks, chum, but I don't need any help. Oh, now, look here, Candy. You heard me, Kent. This is strictly my own party. I suspect a very fancy double cross. Well, some boys got rough, so... Okay, little Candy will have to prove to some punks he can take care of himself. Yes, but look, Candy, uh, we... How'd the uh, Dodgers come out yesterday? Anybody know? He's stolen. I know it, I know it. Now, listen to me, Candy. You were beaten within an inch of your life. You're telling me... And now you've got some fool idea of settling things in your own way. You're a detective. You know that isn't the way to play. You all through, Kent? Well, for the moment. Then tell me how the Dodgers made out yesterday. Oh, confound it, Myers. Just a moment, Chief. Just a moment. Look, Candy, what happened to you last night was tied up with the big story you said you had for me. Isn't that right? I'm not talking, chum. But you've got to talk. Look, I, I don't know what this is all about, but I do know that you're heading for more trouble. A lot more. Here. Look at this. What's that? A handkerchief. It was carefully placed in your hand when I found you last night. Oh, yes, I remember. But, well, boy, look, there's writing on it. Uh, there is. What does it say? It's printed very roughly in ink. It says, keep your nose clean. What? What? In the vernacular, Chief, that means keep your nose out of other people's business. Oh, the dirty rats. They thought they could scare me into laying off my investigation, huh? They thought I'd be scared to even go near that subway now and... Uh, uh, subway? Uh, what about a subway? 
All right, come on, Candy. Come on, give. What's this about a subway and an investigation? Well, every time I open my big mouth, I put my foot in it. Okay, chums, I... I guess I'll have to give you the lowdown. Good. Well, but it's about time. Uh, right now, I, uh... Oh, my head is spinning like a top. What? And there are, there are polka dots in front of my eyes. Uh-oh. Get Dr. Ross, kid. No, 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 no. I'm, a, I'm okay. Just... Just weak. Doc said I'd be like this for a few days. Oh. But uh, what about... Well, uh, let me let me grab 40 winks first. Say, say about a half hour. Oh, sure, Come sure. Come back then and you know, I'll give you a story that'll make your eyes pop. And I mean pop. Okay, Candy, sure. Half an hour. Come on, Chief. What is the exciting story which Candy Myers has promised to reveal? Stand by for the startling climax of today's episode, which follows in just a moment. You know, if you made a list of the good things you wanted a breakfast cereal, they'd add up to Kellogg's Pet. Sure. Take the way it looks, for instance. You like a dish that looks cool and crisp and melt in your mouth tender? And that's Kellogg's Pet. And then take flavor. Well, you just wouldn't ask for anything more delicious than Pep's light, keen sunshine flavor. Why, Pep is called the Sunshine Cereal. Those nippy whole wheat flakes give your appetite the old come on every time. And then take the prizes Pep gives you. Three different kinds of prizes. One in every package of Pep. Makes each prize seems three times as exciting because, well, you never know which one you're going to get next. For instance, you might find a colored cardboard model of an allied fighting plane. And you'd be sharp to collect all seven model planes in the series. Or you might find one of Pep's 24 full-color bird pictures with a description on the reverse side to help you identify these birds wherever you spot them. Or you might find a bright-colored comic button with a famous character right out of the funnies. You can collect all 18 of these buttons to pin on your beanie cap or your jacket. So start collecting all three kinds of these snappy prizes. Ask Mom to get you a package of Kellogg's Pep tomorrow. After waiting for 30 minutes in the hospital lobby, Clark Kent and Perry White are on their way back to Candy Myers' room to hear the detective's story when Dr. Ross hurries toward them. Oh, Mr. Kent. Mr. White. Yes, what is it, Doctor? Mr. Myers. Candy? He... Oh, what about him? He... Uh, he's gone. Gone? 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 What do you mean? Well, I... I wanted to see how he was getting along. Yes? So, uh, I went to his room a few moments ago, and he wasn't there. What? Uh, that's right. Once more... He's no place in the hospital. I, I can't understand it. He, he seems to have vanished. Oh, good Godfrey! Their jaws dropping in amazement, Clark Kent and Perry White stare at the pale physician. How could the injured Candy Myers disappear from the hospital in broad daylight? What has happened to Candy? Is this latest development a further sequel to the startling story he had promised to reveal? Tomorrow's episode is tense and exciting, fellows and girls. So don't miss it. Tune in, same time, same station. And remember, for breakfast, it's Kellogg's Pep. For excitement, the adventures of Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Superman DC comic magazines and is brought to you Monday through Friday at the same time by Kellogg's Pep, the sunshine cereal. You know, gang, you never forget a famous name. Like Kellogg, the greatest name in cereals. Kellogg brightens up breakfast with Kellogg shredded wheat. Fifteen, fifteen crisp tender biscuits in every package. There's loads of natural nut sweet flavor in toasty Kellogg shredded wheat. Loads of fine nutrition, too. It's whole wheat. And these plump, delicious biscuits are just the right size, made to fit the bowl. Try them soon. Ask Mom for Kellogg shredded wheat. And be sure to be with us tomorrow for the thrilling adventures of Superman. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs> 